So we're back in Balmy October. The weather is absolutely magnificent. We're probably, I'd say, late, late 20s, low 30s right now. And again, it's just absolutely, I love it. You'll never hear me complain when the sun's out, I'll always be happy, there'll always be a smile on my face. Um, so we've come back out to the garden again and we're just getting jobs finished off, things neatened up, things tidied. Um, we're in the process of getting all the pathways dug out. Um, we're more than halfway there now. It is getting there and it is a slow process. Um, we are doing it methodically. We're trying to do it right. We're trying to get it done first time, but I think we massively underestimated last time. I think a couple of videos I said we'd probably take 100, 150 tonnes out. Um, we're probably two thirds of the way there and I'd say we've probably already done 200 tonnes. So there's probably going to be another 100 at least come out. So I was, I was halfway there, I got nearly there. But we're just redistributing the dirt. So we've got a number of different uses for the dirt that we're taking out. We're building the beds up right the way around because we want them to be nice and staged. Um, we're moving it to what we call Butterfly Meadow. And the reason we're putting it in Butterfly Meadow, it's been an eyesore for years. Um, it's hard to keep on top of. We're now getting to a point where we're trying to get the car park ready. So we've got a proper decent car park in space. So what you'll see is as well, we're going to neaten around all the trees. We've got some dead branches hanging off. We've got low hanging branches and it's not great to have cars parked under that. So we're going to neaten it all off. So we've got a nice safe area for people to park. A nice ramp down there. And some of you asked last time as well, we can't make the chateau um, disabled friendly. It's not something that we can do. Um, there's feasibly no way for us to do it without completely destroying the structure. But what we are going to do is we're going to be putting the chalets are going to be disabled friendly. We're going to have one of them that is absolutely accessible so you can access all the grounds and be able to get around the place as well. So that's something that we are commit, really committed to and making sure that we do get right. Um, like I say, there's nothing that we can do when it comes to the chateau side of it. So we are going to make sure that this side of it, you can still enjoy the ground. You can still come in and out of the chateau. You can still come in and out of the garden and, and enjoy it the same way as everyone else. So we're going to crack on with that. Like I say, we're two thirds of the way there now. So you'll, we'll see if we can get some drone shots so you can actually see where we're starting to go with it. So you can see the way that the lines flow and, and actually what we're getting to with it. Um, it is going to be amazing. Even I, I'm excited about it. I know how good it's going to look. And, and like I say, Shane, Shane's done a fantastic job of, of just mapping it out. And I think once we, I think it'll be early next year now, by the time we start getting proper, proper plants in, more plants in. Um, but we need to get this done. We need to get gravel in. We've got to get it whackered down. We've got to get a nice hard base so that we're not getting weeds through it. And then Terry, I'm sure, will find it an absolutely beautiful gravel to put down. And yeah, it'll be good. So I'm really happy with the progress. It, it is really starting to get somewhere now. And like I say, we've just got to crack on in this heat. We are going to try and split the work between doing the bedroom as well. So when it gets too much out here, when we've done too much, when we're too exhausted, we'll go inside and do work inside for a day. So you'll see a lot of videos up and coming where we're doing different things. We've got Adam, Celine and the boys are all working away. Um, they're down at the front, they're going to repaint the walls for us to make them look absolutely staggering, really bright when you enter the chateau. And we're getting all the, we have a, a, a whole lot of um, horse chestnuts here. And I mean like literally hundreds of thousands of them when they start falling this year this time of year it just completely makes a carpet so they're getting all that ready they're getting all that cleared over in this side of the garden because we're going to start putting the weed matting down i know some of you don't like it i really don't care it does the job it is exactly what we need it doesn't stop the water flow through we're using the proper stuff and we'll be doing it just so again it, this has to be low maintenance otherwise it's just a full-time job with somebody doing weeds so i'm going to go and crack on get on with the rest of this and yeah keep watching
So I can't believe how this is all starting to take shape. Now when you're here and you're actually walking around in it, you can you can just feel how, how just beautiful and, and nice it's going to be going around this garden and, and getting to take a walk. We've got the paths all laid out. Terry's neatened all my messy lines. I have, get, I'm getting better with the digger, slowly but surely, but it is, it, it's harder than working with a shovel. Not for anything else, your body's used to working with a shovel and using certain muscles, but this, just the rocking, my knees, my core, it's, it is one of them jobs and everyone's aching. Terry's been out with the shovel. Tracy's digging as Tracy always does and hoid hundreds of tons of soil around. So as we're taking it from here, you'll have seen we've been going out to Butterfly Meadow, getting that all neat and up, tidied up. We're getting somewhere really good with that now as well. That that looks completely different. It was a space that was totally unusable before and it's, it's somewhere now you can, again, you can start to see it come to life and you can start to see how we'll be um, putting cabins down there. You can start seeing where they're going to go, but it's just, it's one of them. It's just, it's lovely. And as we're just walking here, we're just walking in the paths and all you can hear is birds tweeting and it's just such a lovely place to be and it's just going to be so nice in the years to come when we've put a couple of plants in we've got a rose over the far side now that's just blossoming and the flowers on it and the scents from it are just absolutely beautiful and you get to look around and at every point in the garden you've just got the absolutely glorious chateau still got a route i need to dig out here i will come back and do that when i get time um but you can just you can feel what it's going to be like you can you can just envisage it all and like say I, I i love every aspect of it and the work that shane's done and karen in putting this plan together and getting it to where it is i, I think is it, they've just done something so magical and like i say when you've just got her looking down on you and anywhere you go in this garden you can just enjoy that space we've got drone shots you'll have seen and it is all starting to come together you, you can see it all starting to just look absolutely wonderful and you can see what the plan's going to be and how it's going to look obviously we're going to have fountains in so there's going to be two fountains one where the diggers sat over there now and one sat over this side so we're planning for that as well so we're planning for the electrics we're planning for the water um, it's not little jobs and as adam and selena found out while they've been here there is no little jobs at a chateau anything that you think is going to be this big and take you 10 minutes count on three days at least <laughs> we've learned that by now so we know where it's like so we're coming along at great speed so we hope you've enjoyed today's show um we again we're loving it this weather is just absolutely magnificent for doing anything out here and if, there's no better place for me there's no better place in the world to be hope you've enjoyed it if you have please hit the like button hit the subscribe button and make sure you've got the bell click for notifications and we will see you in the next one If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.